assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all guys in the lecture of the series of the epidemiology subject in the previous lecture we learned the three types of the uh, epidemiological model of the disease causations now in a today lecture we will go to learn the wheel epidemiological model of the disease causations if you look on the shape of this wheel model is visualized like the wheel shape it has three three core circle is it has the three circle in the center of this wheel model is the genetic core of the host is the genetic core of the host which is present in in the center of the this wheel model actually this wheel model is de emphasize the the role of the agent in the which is has been mentioned in the triangular uh, the triangular or the triad model it says no actually the genetic the genetic profile of the host which is can be infected or influenced by the outer environment and these outer environment which is the outer circle of this wheel model it has the three component are the three types the one is called the this the outer core the outer circle of the wheel model the one is called the biological environment these the outer circle of the this wheel model have the influence by the environment and this environment is divided into three components the first one is the biological environment and the second one is the social environment and the the third one is the physical physical environment now now we will go to discuss one by one these three types of the environment environment which is influencing on the genetic core of the host when these three environment factors influence on the host then definitely it will goes to affect the genetic core of the host when the this genetic core of the host is become uh, affected from these three type the by the factors of the these three type of the environment the genes of the host become a uh, mutant and the changes has been come up in the genetic uh, makeup of the host and the definitely it will goes to cause a disease a particular disease now first of all we will go to learn one by one the social environment what are the factor in the social environment which is affect on the genetic core of the host the first one is the socio economic now the socio economic how the socio economic as socio economic as a is a huge uh, is a very huge and necessary uh, factor which is can cause the disease or can affect the genetic makeup of the host now let's see if the in the socio economics definitely it's a influence on the nutritional factor okay nutritional factor it can aggravates the nutritional factors now in the nutritional factor by the due to the good socio economics it may increase the axis of the of the nutrition in the particular population in the particular community if the it is nutritional factor which is related with the socio economic if it is become a in, in the axis form it will goes to create the obesity 
and the overweight and it may be increase the lipid profile in the community blood plasma level or in the population okay now the due to the low socioeconomic and the social environment definitely it's a decrease the nutritional factor when the nutritional factor or the nutrition is become a decrease in a particular population and particular community it's a it's a leads towards the malnutrition okay it's causes the malnutrition disease just like the marasmus kwashiorkor and the stunt child a low birth babies these are the uh, mmr and iron deficiency anemia these are the factors of the nutritional factor which is are related with the socio economic and the socio economic is the part of the social environment and the second one is the the second social environment is is the housing and the third one is the sanitation four is the security okay and the neighborhood neighborhood if you are living in a good house in the huge house the definitely it will affect the quality of the life of the that particular family or the particular community which is are they are living in the very how in the good and the hygienic housing society or in the house environment so it's again is a factor of the social environment and the second was the sanitation if you are sanitation the sanitation or the sewer system of your community of your city of your town is a as a good and a good management level so it is a decrease different type of diseases which is can be spread from the pathogen vector borne diseases or the water borne diseases which is maybe due to the poor sanitation and it, if the in any community or any town where is the sanitation is a poor definitely the water bond is the diarrhea typhoid and the dysentery is quite higher in the proportion the percentage or the prevalence in that particular community now the security and the social environment if you are living in the very good short, secure environment definitely it will affects the good effects on your mental health due to the in the unsecure environment it's always affect on your psychological or you can say the mental health and if your mental health is affected definitely it is affect on the host characteristic and the genetic profile now the neighborhood in the social environment if your neighbor is where you are living in the society where your neighbor is a good pupils or they are very uh, support you or they are very facilitate you families which is are living in a surrounding of you so definitely is a increase or enhance or improve your health or is a, is a affect good effects on your health if you are living in the neighborhood if they are belong to this if you suppose you are neighborhood belong to the show business and the, the whole night they are practicing on the music or they are playing the uh, musical instrument the whole night definitely it affects on your sleep and then you will go to for the insomnia and then uh, the ultimately the insomnia will affect on your mental health and the, if your mental health is affected that definitely is your affects on your physical performance now the the another factor of the social environment is crowding due to the urbanization increase of the urbanization then it's a increase the crowding in the cities and the definitely it will goes to influence or it is affect the management of the mega cities 
and the due to the increase of the urbanization the crowding has been increased and then the people which is are from the low socioeconomic people which is are migrated from the rural area to come in the urban area for their for their to improve their socioeconomic for the jobs or for the uh, for doing the small business to establish their small business in the urban area so it has increased the slum area as well if the poor people are migrated migrated in the in the huge numbers from the rural area to the urban area it's increased the urbanization and there's a increase the slum areas and due to the same areas increase of the slum areas it increase the crimes in the mega cities so it is again is a problem or affects on the host characteristic and the genetic core and then the waterborne okay waterborne which is are related with the social environment and the food as well okay if you have no access of the clean water or the or the food so definitely as well goes to affect on the on your health now we will come up on the the second uh, components of the outer circle of the environment this is called the biological environment in the biological environment this is the viruses okay bacteria and the pathogen different type of the pathogens fungus animals and the birds okay the biological environment which is full up with the viruses and the bacteria if your environments which is the which is it is not in the hygienic conditions or in the your sanitation in the social environment if the sanitation and the hygienic uh, hygienic environment of the social environment is a not clean in the your community or in your town so definitely it will goes to colonize or increase the viruses and the bacteria the growth of the bacteria and the viruses and these viruses and the bacteria which is the biological environment pathogen is increasing the different type of the disease as you know that in the town and the villages that the virus or the bacteria the infectious diseases are quite much is a as a higher in the in the high prevalence is as compared in the urban area so and the fungal disease the pathogen and now we will come up on the animals different type of the diseases which is are related from the zootic zootic disease different type of the disease can be transmitted from the animals to the human being to the human population just like the best example of the covid-19 the covid-19 was uh, transmit for, as from the zootic from the from the birds from the wet market through the birds it is transmitted to the human being so it means it is transmit from the animals to the human being so the animal has the major role in the biological factor if you control these factor biological factor you can prevent the host genetic makeup from the mutations and ultimately you will get, you will go to prevent disease or the decrease the disease now the another factor in the social is the biological is the birds different type of the viruses are the bacteria which is colonized or increase through the birds as well just like the uh, bird flu the bird flu is transmitted from the birds to the human being and it is the virus has become a convert into the h1n1 which is transmitted from the birds now the another th the third environment which is affect on the genetic core of the host this is a physical and the chemical environment in the physical environment this is a temperature okay 
or you can say the global warming global warming due to the increase of the temperature and the global warming it is increase the the temperature of the earth which is caused the different type of the disease just like the heat strokes which is frequently nowadays in the pakistan we are going to be exposure exposing disaster every year in the summer season from this heat stroke and the sun stroke due to the global warming and the second one is the smogs smog due to the increase level of the smog and it is a mix up with the fog it is a convert into the smog and due to the increase of the smog in the environment in the winter season especially in the winter season it is increase the upper respiratory and road lower respiratory tract especially the the high it is increase the uh, speed up to the upper respiratory tract infection due to the smog and the winter seasons now in the physical environment the workers which is are working in the construction company in the construction companies they are more due to the falls injuries and this third ones falls injuries and then the vibration movement due to the vibration movement of the machines they are using in the construction company just like the drilling drilling the earth during the core or drilling the for in the those are worker which are working in the oil field they are drilling for the oil company they means uh, pouring out the oil from the earth so they are exposing to the vibrations so due to the vibration they are mostly fall down in the fatigue syndrome and the muscular disorder as well now in the chemical the pupils which is are working in the oil field they are exposing different type of the chemicals so they so definitely the earth comp the oil companies they give the uh, leave to their workers for the 15 day for the one month after every three months to just avoid from the dose response now the another is alcohol okay smoking alcohol is the chemical in chemical and physical environment which can affect the large populations and especially in the western countries are the those countries where the alcohol use and the high, higher quantities are the and the and the high frequency in the population so they are falling down in the uh, different type of diseases just like the liver cancer and also the renal disease is quite much be higher due to the alcohol and the the another one is the physical environment that's radiation radiation is a very key factor which is can affect the very fastly on the genetic core of the host just like they give the an examples let me share the an example of the uh, the atomic bomb which is the second world war is a uh, uh, fell down fell down on the uh, on the nagasaki and hiroshima on the japan by the usa now after uh, even till today or after the 40 or 30 till to the uh, two decades the every child which is were born in the in the hiroshima and nagasaki they mostly prone towards the genetic uh, genetic they the the child or the babies born with the genetic anomalies it is all the it is the effects or the influence of the radiation of the atomic bomb which is uh, still uh, influencing still showing is effects on the to change the genetic core to affect on the genetic core or the genetic makeup of the people of the nagasaki and hiroshima so i hope in the today lecture now in the last i say this biological now summarize this or the wheel model the wheel model is a give the is a give the visualize or shape of the wheel shape it has the three circles 
the in the center of the circle is the genetic core of the host and the outer circle is the host characteristic which is the host characteristic which is the influenced by the outer environment the outer circle is the environment circle and these environment circles are divided into three environment the one is a biological the second was social and the third one is a physical one all these three environmental factors is influencing on the host and the characteristic on the host and the it's a create the changes inside the genetic makeup of the host and it's the genes become a mutant or the change mutant or is become a deteriorated due to the outer environment due to the changes in the outer environment so it's a cause the different type of the diseases i hope in the today lecture it's a clear your concept about the wheel epidemiological model and the last i request you all to watch my video lecture very properly it's clear your concept about the epidemiological terms and the last i request you all till now you didn't uh, press the bell button Pre please press the bell icon button by pressing the bell icon button you will get my new lecture as soon as i upload on my youtube channel thank you so much allah bless you all